So you've got a headache. It seems to be that the last stop for anybody with a headache is a chiropractor's office. However, it really should be your first stop. The, I, I've had cases just yesterday, I had a patient who had uh, about 10 days worth of a headache. He started with some neck pain, generated into a headache, really described as more of a tension type headache. So he presented to the ER, they loaded him up with medications, I did a CT scan of the head, I'm not quite sure what the indications were for that, but they did a CT scan of the head. As mentioned, 29,000 cases of cancer per year are related to the overuse of CT scans. The headache did not get better, and so he ended up going to between his primary care doctor and to the ER again. This time they did a spinal tap and loaded him up with the lauded, which should really be reserved for cancer patients. The, uh, the over heavy use of narcotic medication seemed to help, and he, but the headache was still present, and then he comes into my office. Arguably, he should have been in my office first to see if we could have eliminated the CT scan and the, the uh, heavy narcotic use and the spinal tap. So the end result, the end diagnosis after all of this was that he must have a tension type headache. A little ridiculous considering that if he had a tension type headache, he really should have been in a chiropractor's office in the first place. Had another case of a patient who had just severe headaches for quite a few months, ended up going to a neurologist that we've got a good relationship with. However, the neurologist, despite the fact that the headache was coming from here, clearly a tension type headache, did not make a referral to, for chiropractic care. The patient ended up coming in to see us and took about five or six visits, but we ended up completely getting rid of the headache because they were tension type headaches. The medications were not needed because she was not having migraines. Even if somebody is having a migraine headache, especially in our office, considering that I've written a book on migraines and epilepsy, we can certainly differentiate and look for any scary things that might be causing a headache, such as uh, a stroke, or uh, even a migraine type headache, or uh, I've had cases of uh, temporal arteritis where there's inflammation of the temporal artery creating the headaches. In general, your average chiropractor is quite able to differentiate what's a what the cause of the headache is and begin to treat it from a much simpler route. So the next time you have a headache, you really should consider presenting to your favorite chiropractor's office instead of the ER.